One of Roger Corman's very earliest features was The Beast of a Million Eyes. I do quite like this film overall, although its most impressive quality, or one of, is this title sequence. I think we all know by now that no such monster, as illustrated in the well-known poster art, is featured within this film, as The Beast of a Million Eyes refers to invisible aliens who can take over the minds and bodies of Earth life, human or animal, and therefore have, potentially, a million eyes. A great pitch to devise a film production on the cheap, this is how Corman perceived the film's premise. He is not credited as directing the film due to union reasons, it's a whole thing. Uh, David Kramarski is credited instead. The film's executive producer Samuel Arkoff still insisted upon the film's completion and his viewing of this rough cut for there be a visible extraterrestrial monster by the film's conclusion. VFX artist Paul Blaisdell got to work and realised what we now see at the film's finale. Before that, the film's monsters, if you will, tend to be dogs or chickens or, more, more harmfully, an aggressive cow. A prototype for the natural horror we all know and love, Day of the Animals 1977, hey anyone? Beast of a Million Eyes is fairly effective for what it is, being able to conjure horror in a film with as little money as possible. There is something to admire about that, but otherwise I do prefer other common sci-fi genre films around this time, such as Day the World Ended, It Conquered the World, and definitely Not of This Earth. One of his best posters of all time, and possibly one of his better films. Uh, yeah, probably one of his better films, although not one of Corman's very best films. The film appears to be fairly lambasted based upon the IMDb user reviews, although I assure you I've seen much, 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 much worse than this film from its era, and frankly, let's be real, like we talk about some of these 1950s, early 60s, really low budget, Z-list genre films as some of the worst ever made, those of Ed Wood, Coleman Francis, I mean, okay, Ed Wood and Coleman Francis is particularly bad to be fair, Phil Tucker, Robot Monster, like, some of that stuff is particularly inept and just there's barely any justification for its their existence uh, outside of some humor i suppose but some of the worst films to have come out in like the 21st century the 1990s 80s like some of these films are far more unwatchable like you'd, you'd rather watch like robot monster than like kevin costner the postman or like the worst like comedy films of the 2000s or some of these like horrible blockbuster disasters of the 2010s i mean you'd rather watch the the worst of roger corman anyone would rather watch the worst of roger corman than some of the absolute trash that's come out in like the last uh not even the most not even mainstream films you understand just any sort of film directed directed dvd director streaming there's some like, rubbish out there corman corman was a great director frankly he, he, honestly like the more films you watch you ever try to make a film as well, you realize Corman was an absolute genius. Seriously.